Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 22nd to the 28th of January 2024 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We have strategy number 21. If you haven't got one, because sometimes it's come out reversed, I don't normally pay attention to this. It might well be that you're putting some kind of plan into action or saying, well, what can I do about this? What do I need to do? What do I need to think about? What do I need to address? You know, so it's considering all the kind of aspects of your situation and coming up with a clear way forward. Let's see what we have for you for the week. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Aries for the week. We have number 25. This is the Archangel Michael deck. Put your creative energy into action. Archangel Gabriel has joined me to spark your creativity, help you communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful. Lovely. Love that. All right, Aries, let's see what we have. What do we have for you for the week? Message for Aries for the week. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aries. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. Uh, it can represent celebration, even celebratory parties. Um, but it's you're getting what you want. I mean, it can be a card of even achieving greater happiness, fulfillment, personal achievement. We have the lovers. The lovers can be a partnership or a relationship at the crossroads. There's a decision that needs to be made. It can be about the relationship itself or in a different life area. It can represent partnerships of other kinds. So again, somebody who is important to you, an important connection, two people who complement each other like pieces of a jigsaw. You just fit together well. Um, and that could even be in things like business partnerships as well. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female. All the energy of the card, generally heart-centered, in touch with emotions and feelings, intuitive. Justice. Two of Cups with the lovers. Wow, this is like somebody who is... Yeah, just somebody who's really important to you. Now, the Two of Cups can be my bond between two people. It can represent friendships or, you know, my bond between two people in any aspect it can be, like I said, in a work scenario, somebody who is significant to you, a kindred spirit, soul connection. Um, this can represent friendships into love romance status as well. Or an existing relationship that's likely deepening. We have Queen of Cups, the Five of Swords. Justice, Judgment, wow. And we have the Four of Cups. Let's pull a card for the Nine of Cups. Thank you. The Hierophant and the Page of Wands.
Let's pull a card for justice and judgment. This feels more like reconciliation energy here. Again, creating something new with the, the strategy energy. It might well be that you need to come up with some kind of plan in how you deal with this or approach it here or even set kind of ground rules and boundaries here. It looks like somebody is, it feels like more kind of reconciliation energy, wanting to kind of reforge the bond in some way. Because again, the Queen of Cups, Five of Swords is whatever it takes, I'll do whatever it takes. What is it going to take? I'll do whatever it takes. Again, that could be you saying that to somebody as well. Again, in matters of the heart, it can be vice versa in readings. It can be you or somebody who's very close to you. But there's a decision that needs to be made. It could well be whether you get back together with this person. Because the Nine of Cups can represent a celebration. This could be where you're coming together or bumping into somebody at some kind of celebratory party or event. Um, or it can be about uh, having faith that great. this is going to lead to great happiness. You see the potential of having faith and moving in this direction is going to lead to great happiness and abundance and fulfillment. But the Four of Cups is there. You're being offered something, but you're not sure whether you want to accept it or not, Aries. And again, this could be you doing that to somebody else. Again, the Four of Cups, I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no, I'm, say I'm thinking about it. It could well be also that they did something that was disrespectful and hurtful to you. And they're kind of like now saying, I will... I will never do that again. Looks like there's some kind of decision here to make. Again, judgment and justice. Because there are consequences here. You're at some kind of crossroads. These are major crossroads energies where you have an opportunity to, it looks like, reconcile with this person with the promise they'll never do it again. I've learnt my lesson. I will never do it again. You know, and this just feels that kind of energy. Somebody's reaching out, wanting to connect with you. I mean, you could argue that somebody is asking for a second chance in a business partnership as well. Again, if they've done something and not discussed it with you and were disrespectful and maybe there were consequences in that scenario here. I mean, the same message applies. They're, they're not wanting the partnership to end. Um, they're wanting to reconcile with you. So it looks like there is some kind of judgment call here in terms of whether you accept what they're offering or not. Again, the Four of Cups is you're not saying yes, you're not saying no, you're just considering it. And you're coming up with some kind of plan. I think that this is where you need to get that kind of strategy in place. There is that sense here with the Hierophant, the Page of Wands and the Nine of Cups. It's almost kind of like giving it a go. You know, moving forward in faith, hoping that it's leading to happiness and joy. Or seeing the potential in faith that happiness is here. You feel that maybe someone has learnt some valuable lesson. Interesting. Let's pull an extra card for the Four of Cups. It's whether to give somebody another chance or move in a different direction. The energy that I will caution, though, is when these kind of energies apply, be careful in your choice and decision because it feels that you might not get a chance again or certainly for a significant amount of time. So there's always a kind of energy here of choose wisely with this kind of energy. Because, you know, again, justice and judgment, there are always consequences, positive, negative, you know, for the experience that we have up until this point. But in terms of how we move forward, we're accountable for our actions. So and also our choices and decisions, we live with that. So just 
this can be about really, I mean, I like seeing the Four of Cups in this way because you're not rushing into this. There's no knee-jerk reaction. There's no kind of, it feels like somebody is asking Faith to give it a go, promising that there's happiness on this path. But I just feel this is about really considering what you're being offered and maybe come up with some kind of plan. Should you choose to give this a, this person a go or give them a chance, maybe coming up with some kind of strategy or plan, boundaries, conditions, call it what you will. It could well be so that certainly in business they can't go and do what they did again. So you might be writing in some kind of additional kind of safeguards maybe into an agreement maybe could be contractual between the two of you for those of you again it is it might well be just kind of like firming things up in terms of how you want to move forward let's pull a card for the four of cups yeah the world yeah the world represents it can represent a major completion where you, you just complete it, you end this, you draw the line under a situation and you step through to a brand new beginning. For others of you, it can represent that sense of, of, okay, let's draw the line under this situation and, you know, let's start over. You know, this can be that kind of energy. So the world represents some kind of completion of a cycle. Either you forgive, you forget, people learn from experience, and and promise never to do what they've done again you draw the line under it and step through to a brand new beginning for others of you like i said this can represent completion and that's what you're thinking about that's why you need to come up with some kind of plan this week and i feel that's what spirit is asking you to do it feels like just give yourself time and space to consider an offer Think of how you want to move forward. Consider your approach in a situation. This is what I'm getting here. All right. What do we have for Aries? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aries. Some of you, it could well be parent and child as well. You know, or parents and child even. Again, with a page of ones being here, considering you approach in that way, whatever they've done. Well, nice energy. We have number 16, joy. As I do will, so mote it be. Let joy and light radiate from me. So there's joy here. I mean, that's what the Nine of Cups is, real joy. I think that's what someone is promising. Having faith that there is happiness in in wanting to start over you know uh, move in a brand new direction with them this is the energy here free will but it looks like there's potential it, it requires a level of faith sometimes with the hierophant as well we can talk to a holy person a mentor a teacher somebody who will advise you and generally somebody whose spirit will work through as well here maybe to bring you some kind of guidance or advice. The Hierophant can also be about long-term committed relationships, marriage. So again, if this was, uh, again, a committed relationship or marriage, just feels that like there's a need to reconcile. But again, the Hierophant is a great energy of having faith, even leaning on your spiritual faith in trusting that you see giving something a go and moving forward on a path will lead to great happiness and fulfillment. Kind of a bit of a marker or an indicator that that is the energy here, but free will. Okay, Aries, let's see what we have for you. Celebration, yeah. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. We have new beginnings. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Yeah, that's what I mean. There is a new beginning available to you here.
This just feels like trusting heart and soul that the thing you're moving towards is going to deliver great happiness and fulfillment. Again, for those of you, there could well be some kind of party or celebration, you know, again, with that card coming out where this is happening. That's what I have for you, Aries, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.